Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, my name is Donna, and for those of you who are not here, thank you so much for continuing to support my channel. Today is my December 2018 Faves and Flops. Uh, this is typically a video that I do the first part of the month every single month following the month so that I get a good grasp of how I feel about a product before putting it in here. I only have a couple flops that I want to mention in this video today. I did haul quite a bit the last half of the year and I have a lot that I've been trying out so I don't have a good mm, solid thought process on a lot of the stuff that I recently hauled. I do have some faves in here that are things that you guys might have just seen me haul, but they have been in my collection for a little bit of time. For those of you who are a creator, you know that you, um, I pre-record, so I, I work a lot of hours, and in order for me to be able to get my uploads in every you know, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, or Sunday, and potentially also have a bonus video in there. I have to pre-record. I just do. And so I spend a lot of my weekend time just recording videos and editing videos and getting them uploaded onto the YouTubes so that you guys have a video when you're expecting a video from me. But a lot of the products that are in here came to you late last month as a haul for me when in reality they actually were hauled relatively early in that month and so I have been trying them so please don't look at my you know Milani blush and go oh my god girl you've only had that for like a week and a half I've actually had it in my collection for a few weeks longer than that. So most of all of December, I was using these products. So I'm really excited to go over them with you. I'm gonna do my fails first because there's only a couple of them. And one one of them is actually a revisit on a product that I think I put in a faves, um, simply because of the feeling of the product and because I thought it was a good powder at that time. I'm not a person that uses powder very often. I got this in a sample set that I got, I believe, from Ulta, and I kind of dug it because it felt just different. It had a different feel to it, and it was really freaking cool. Um, but it is the Becca Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder. So I remember seeing a video done by Mel. What is her last name? I can never remember her last name. Anyway, she's somebody that I watch all the time. And I saw a video by her saying that it was right after I got it, actually, and started trying it out, saying that it, it wasn't worth the money. And I was like, wow, wow, I don't know how she can say that. It's so awesome because it is. You put it on a brush, you put it on your skin, it literally feels like you're putting water on your skin. So it is the weirdest sensation knowing that you're putting a powder on your skin and it feels like water but what she said is it wasn't worth it because within a few weeks it was dried out no matter how tightly you have it closed and she was absolutely correct this thing so I used it for approximately three weeks before I noticed that the sensation of it was completely gone like it no longer felt like Hydra set. It, it no longer had that water uh, feeling to it and it textured really, really poorly on my skin. It is a super, super finely milled powder. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it is just so silky smooth and you would think that it would be fine, but it just... It just isn't. It dried out. It no longer had that sensation to it. And once it dried out, it also created a lot of texture on my face that either A, I didn't know existed or B, I knew existed and didn't want to see. So I quit using it. It is a sample size and I don't use a lot of powder in the first place, but I think part of the problem is, is that if you guys can see, I am having a hard time getting it shut. I don't think that the the cap on here shuts very well and I don't know if that's the same for the full size or not 
but it is a sample size and as you can see I use I hope you can see the amount that's left in there I used a good share of the amount but there is still a good share of amount left because I just I just won't use it because of how it looks on my skin now when it has that that hydra sensation to it when it has that wet feel to it it is beautiful it is a beautiful powder but it's not anymore so the next thing I have is this and I actually hauled this in a haul in December this is one of the items where I'm like oh they're gonna say girl you've only had that for a few minutes <laughs> but it's been a little bit longer I have used it quite a bit and I think this is an item because I use it every single day I'm very very quick to be able to know whether it is an item that is going to work for me or not fairly fairly quickly whether it's going to be an item that would be a holy grail item or one I would continue to repurchase or not super quick and it is this Smashbox always on liquid eyeliner you guys so it is you know a felt tip it's it's not bad it's got good color this is this is it right here this is this is all from a previous video so it's got good color it can get a real good line it's just it's not a brush applicator which is something that I'm used to that is what I have used in the past it is a felt tip but like after the first couple times of using it I don't know if you can see that but that felt tip is no longer as sturdy as it was and it might be because of me like I'm I'm gonna say like I have been known to you know shove the wrong cap on an item before and that might be my fault but it just doesn't it doesn't like to stay where I put it it's always on and the funny thing is is Smashbox always on gel eyeliner is my favorite eyeliner for like my waterline and whatnot it's my holy grail eyeliner I will spend twenty dollars on those pencils but dropped it but this guy this guy is not one I can ever see myself repurchasing I hate using it it feathers into the texture in my eyes as I get closer to the inner corner of my eyes so I have to go in with a different either liquid eyeliner or a pencil eyeliner which is fine it is whatever a friend of mine that well a, a person that I watch here on YouTube I say a friend of mine a lot and these half of these people don't even know me from Adam so a person on YouTube that I watch a lot actually was like and this is what I do and she takes her you know liquid eyeliner only into a certain spot on her eyes and then goes in with a pencil eyeliner to complete it from the inner corner because then it doesn't feather and it doesn't bleed which is super smart <laughs> y'all should try it so I will find that I have to do that with this pencil or with this liquid eyeliner because it bleeds and I believe its retail cost is something like 20 ish dollars and I wouldn't spend the money on it so some of my favorites are items that you know there are some new items in here but there are some items that I have been revisiting this one is a fairly new item to my collection it is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Radiance Drops I got these actually in my uh, make your own tart kit which I'll link up in the cards and I wasn't really sure about them especially since the first time I used them I didn't shake it up like the bottle says read the directions bottle says shake it up really well I didn't do that I didn't really like think about what I was doing when I was putting it in on my face I just did the whole Instagram like dropper it onto your face thing you know I didn't mix it in a product or whatnot and I kind of looked like the Tin Man when I came out of it. <laughs> I'm not even going to lie. But they're, they're really pretty drops. And they make almost every one of my foundations that I use a little more dewy, which is something that I'm trying to go for right now. I really, I have super dry skin, but I am really partial to matte <laughs> foundations, which is what it is. Uh, but I uh, do want healthier looking skin and not as dry looking skin and the the matte foundations that I get there aren't sticking to my dry patches or anything so I don't have to worry about that piece I just want it to look a little more dewy and putting this in that matte foundation allows for that and I think that it is stunning 
The next thing I have is this. It is my Pure Lip Exfoliator. And it's just basically a sugar scrub in the form of a pen. And I have been using this a lot because my lips are super dry right now. Super, super cracked and dried. Uh, not cracked and bleeding cracked, but just like cracked because it's super cold here. And so they're super dry. So I have been using this every single day before I put on like a liquid lipstick especially not every day but every day that I am deciding to put on a liquid lipstick and this really does help exfoliate my lips and make that liquid lipstick go on even better which makes me happy and this is another one that I have revisited to the extent that it is almost gone now it is the naked skin weightless complete coverage concealers sorry guys my battery died <laughs> So I think I was talking about this guy. This is the Naked Skin Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer by Urban Decay. And this is in the shade Light. And for me, I think that it is a beautiful concealer, just maybe too dark for my under eyes. I used it today and I know that you can still see quite a bit of dark circles on my under eye right now, which is whatever. But a concealer for me, part of the reason why, so the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye is one of my favorite, my all-time favorite concealers. And the reason why I like it is because it's thick without being drying, it's thick without showing texture, and it covers up my dark circles for the most part. And I have some pretty incredible eye bags, let's get real. But this guy, it works beautifully. It is a wetter formula. So it helps me create a natural butt makeup look, if that makes any sense. So I found myself falling back in love with this product since, you know, the beginning portions of the month when my skin got super dry and I really didn't want to wear makeup because I was afraid, honestly, to wear a lot of makeup because it was sticking to my dry patches when I was wearing it or it just looked awful because of how dry my skin has been. This doesn't make my skin look dry. This also doesn't, however, cover a lot. So, but it works well enough that it does cover my under eyes and I can wear it without foundation and it matches my skin once blended out and appears like there's nothing there but does give me a little bit of coverage and I've used it so much over the last three weeks that it's almost gone I think it was a relatively full concealer when I started using it uh, the next thing I want to talk about here is this BH Cosmetics foundation. It's just their liquid foundation. It is in Naturally Flawless. And I got this on a whim for a Trying BH Cosmetics video that I did, which I'll link up in the cards. And I loved it then, and I haven't used it much since. So I've been trying it over the last month to see if I still really like it. It is kind of an older foundation in my menagerie of foundations, so I wanted to make sure that I used it up or used it at least most of the way up before it goes bad. It um, has a pump on it, which I love. I love this pump. However, there's not much that pumps out of it with each pump. So I find that I'm having to use like three or four pumps of this as opposed to like one to two pumps or one and a half pumps of my other foundations with pumps on them. It is also in a glass container. I don't prefer glass containers for whatever reason. They're just harder for me to store because there is no squeeziness to them. So I can't like shove them into this one little area that I have available to me for my foundations. I have used this quite a bit though over the last several weeks and find that I don't have to mix a whole lot with it. It looks, I'm wearing it today, it looks beautiful on my skin. It gives me a nice natural finish to my makeup, which I prefer. I don't like a full coverage foundation, but also covers up quite a bit and it's not heavy. It doesn't feel heavy on my skin, so I don't have to feel like I need to put more into it. Now I do put this guy underneath it most of the time. I did not today. Um, just to give it a little more of a dewiness to it. But other other than that, and even when I'm not using it, like it doesn't look horrible on my skin. So 
I'm really happy with this and this is in the color um, 209 Ivory Beige. I have found myself loving that. Another revisit to my collection is this uh, XOXO Lisa Frank and Glamour Doll. Glamour Dolls Bitten and Bronze Matte Bronzer. So I'm kind of my go-to contour has been in the past my Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Kit, which I know is whatever. And the color that was my go-to color in there is completely gone. <laughs> and then my next best, or maybe even first best, was the Wet n Wild Contour Stick, and that is also gone. So over the last several weeks, I have actually been just steering back into bronzers instead of contour. And this is the bronzer that I have been using like mad. I am using it today. I don't find that it looks like horrible on my skin. I find that it is a really good color match for me. It doesn't turn pink. It doesn't turn orange. It doesn't look unhealthy. It is up here along in my hairline. I think that it is just a beautiful bronzer and I am so glad that I opened it back up and I'm starting to revisit it in my collection. Uh, the next one I have here is this Anastasia Beverly Hills Amrezy Highlight. This has been a huge highlight all over YouTube for the last ever since it came out. I think about a year ago. Maybe a little less. But I just got my hands on it earlier this month and I absolutely love this highlight. It isn't what I'm wearing today, but, and you can probably tell that because what I'm wearing today is actually kind of a lot more subtle than this guy is. This is just a really pretty, it's a beautiful gold, golden highlight. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's right there on my wrist, right here. Um, it's just a really beautiful golden highlight that looks kind of wet actually when it's applied to the face. Uh, the ripples that you see in it are actual ripples in the pan, which I thought was really cool. When I first started seeing it on YouTube, I thought that the ripples might just be, you know, how the camera was playing with the different colors of the highlight maybe, but uh, that is actually part of the makeup of that pan. I thought it was amazing and it's pretty to look at and it's pretty on the skin. I am not 100% fond of every single one of ABH's highlighters, but I can see me picking up multiples of that one just so that I have it in case it decides to go away again. <laughs> so I, I'm really super excited that they brought it back out. Next thing that has been um, a shocker for me actually is this liquid lipstick that I have fallen in love with over the last four weeks and it is the Jeffree Star Liquid Lipstick Collections. I love his liquid lipstick formula. This one right here is one that I wear all the time and have gotten so many compliments on and it's just this like really taupey like purple color that you might not think would be like beautiful but oh my god. But, that is the color right there. I just love that color. It's nice and kind of mauvey, but also kind of brown and raisin. It reminds me of a raisin, but its name is delicious and it is my favorite. I wear it all the time. The other one is this one. I am not hugely into a metallic lip, but this is a beautiful metallic color. And I'm also not really into these rust colors, but this is also a beautiful color. So this is Fudge Pop and it is kind of an orange brown and on my lips it looks a lot more like coppery. So then I think it appears on here. Maybe it appears copper to you guys. I'm not sure. But um, I don't love metallic liquid lipsticks, but I do love this. And the formula is really weird. I think I said it in my favorites video. It was something that I had thrown into my 2018, my Best of Beauty 2018, that I thought was kind of cheating because it was something that I had just brought into my collection over the last several weeks prior to filming that video and didn't think that it was very fair to include it. So I just kind of honorable mentioned it. I feel like my lips feel more hydrated after I take this 
liquid lipstick formula off my lips than they did when I first put them on. I mean, I'm going in with this and, you know, maybe that's got something to do with it. But also, this liquid lipstick formula, you don't have to scrub at with a liquid lipstick remover gel like I have a couple of them from e.l.f. or whatever that I typically will put over my lips for liquid lipstick formulas to help me get the liquid lipstick off without actually having to scrub at them and this one I found that I went over with like a makeup wipe and it just came right off it was the weirdest feeling the weirdest thing <laughs> The next thing I have here is this Brow Gal Instant Brow Hair Tinted Brow Gel. And I don't typically use a brow gel, but I have been lately, um, mainly because I want to get this out of my collection and my brow, my the cup that holds my brow products is super full. So, I mean, it's a cup that's divided into three sections and one section of that is my brow products, one section is my liquid eyeliners and one section is my pencil eyeliners. And the brow section is super full. So I pulled this out because it was, you know, the biggest, the biggest thing in there. And just um, on a whim decided to start using it again over the last several weeks. And I got it in a BoxyCharm a while ago, used it one time and then put it down. I love this. I love this. I actually have thought about maybe repurchasing it or finding a brow gel that I love just the same. I love the wand on it. It is a super, super tiny wand. So I don't feel like I'm getting a whole lot of product on it. And I don't feel like I'm gooping the product all over in my brows. Brows are not the thing that I do the best. I don't feel like so. I mean, I've gotten better at them. Don't get me wrong, but they're not the thing I do the best. So They've never really been that thing that I've thought the most about when I'm looking at makeup items, but I love this. I think I might repurchase, if not um, find something. If you guys know of something that comes, you know, as a brow gel that's equally comparable to this, let me know because I'd be interested in potentially purchasing another brow gel. So the last thing on my list, which is kind of a shocker to me, I feel like, but not really because I had heard lots of great things about it, but I did have, as you guys probably saw on Monday, not the best experiences with the eyeshadows of this brand are these Milani blushes. So you guys probably saw me haul these not too long ago. Again, these are one of the products that I was like, you guys are going to be like, look lady, you just got those. Um... But I've actually had them in my collection for most of December. I did use them. Luminoso is probably my favorite of the two. But, whoops, they they come with, you know, a little brush in here and a mirror, which I will never use and never understand why drugstore options do those things because the brushes are just not usable. But this is a very, very pretty peachy toned blush. This is a very pretty peachy toned blush and it just goes onto your skin and, and it doesn't lay there like some drugstore blushes do. It actually goes into your skin and melts into your skin. It looks beautiful. It becomes part of your skin and actually gives you a little bit of this like sheeniness which is just beautiful. The other one is this Berry Amour which I have probably used more often. I mean look at these brushes you guys. These brushes are absolutely ridiculous. Why would you use this for blush? It is so flat. I've actually probably used this one more because it is just a nice neutral blush. I love the the look of it as well. It's super like variegated and even though the name of it is Berry Amour, it actually goes on the skin as more of a really pretty pinky nude instead of a berry. I don't know why they called it Berry Amour. But it is beautiful. Both of these blushes I have used. Today I'm wearing a different blush. But they have been my go-to blushes uh, for all month. <laughs> so these were some favorites in my, in my life this month. I'm really, really super happy I got to pick those up. I might actually think of picking up more. <laughs> and Milani is a fairly inexpensive brand for us in the U.S. We can pick it up at Ulta and a lot of times it's on sale at Ulta. You can get a lot of your drugstore options at Ulta on half off sales all the time. So 
I might think about picking up some more of those in the future. Okay, so that is the end of my faves and flops for the month of December. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Faves and flops are, as with empties, one of my favorite videos to record as well as watch. So if you have a faves and flops out there or monthly failures or monthly favorites out there, let me know. I would be delighted to go watch it. And um, I hope that you enjoyed mine enough that you want to give me a big thumbs up really does help my channel grow. I also hope you liked me enough that you want to subscribe to my channel before you leave here. I do upload content every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, depending on my work week. And as I said earlier in the video, I do pre-film so that you've constantly got those dates are set in stone for my uploads. Almost every single time I upload, it's at 7 a.m., Sometimes it's a little later in the afternoon, but typically that only happens if it's a special or a bonus video. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. I hope to see you in the comments section down below, and let me know if you have a video I can go watch. Thank you so much. Bye, guys. I would take the cap off and show you guys, but it's kind of disgusting if I have to be honest with you. How many times can you say super in one sentence, Donna? Good grief. So this has been a huge highlight all over Facebook. Um, I do know this. I am not 100% fond of every single... Ooh. Hiccup.